Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? It is your boy B here, bringing you guys another video today, man. I'm very excited. I stumbled across this video, and it looks like this is the first prototype controller we have. Um, and it, in the title, it says it's patent based for the DualShock 5. I'm not entirely sure how accurate this is, but we're gonna see. This is our first look at the DualShock 5 patent version, basically prototype version. Um, I haven't saw the video yet, but we're gonna go and get into it here. So before we get into it, hit that like button, hit that sub button, definitely com Ugh, sorry, tongue twisted. Definitely comment down below if you guys are excited for the new PS5 release. And let me know what you guys think of the controller. Um, we're both gonna get into it here. I haven't watched the video yet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. I have the video on mute. I'm gonna stop it and talk about the controller as you know the basically the video plays. So let's go ahead and get into it, alright? <clears throat> All right, so right off the bat, um, one thing it shows right here, you can see it's it says fan art, so I guess this really isn't like a prototype. Um, I guess about this is like basically like everything, if you look up renders of the PS5 controller and all that other stuff, this is basically what is always popping up. Um, it's basically been released pretty much everywhere. This is basically the image we have um, everywhere for this uh, PlayStation 5 controller. Um, with that being said, as you could tell immediately, you could tell a few differences. You can tell the light bar is gone, so the light bar is no longer there. They put it on top with the touchpad. You can also see that the touchpad has now extended. Sorry, I just ate. Uh, the touchpad has now extended up a little bit more, so it's not exactly flush like it used to be on the controller. It's not exactly flush. They did extend it up a little bit, so um, uh, above the option and share button. Um, and then you could also see that the headphone jack has changed down here. It looks like a dual headphone jack. I don't know exactly what to call that. Um, but for sure one of those is the headphone jack. The triggers and everything still kind of look the same distance and length. Um, I wish they were a little bit um, wider, um, possibly, or not wider, but um, I wish, you know, the sticks were, you know, I wish one of the sticks was up here and the D-pad was down here. I kind of hate playing and then, it's a comfortable controller, don't get me wrong, but I hate playing because I have long fingers and stuff and I end up, you know, hitting my thumbs. I don't like to play like this. I can't be accurate like that. Um, this personally um i don't know who really plays like this to like my knowledge who really sits their thumbs like this i sit them right here i like the rest of them so that's how i just play um but you could automatically see the differences in this controller right from the bat so um i'm gonna fast forward here i'm gonna see we're gonna get to the back um as you could already see too on the back of the controller you could see that the looks like charging port it's one of those like deep input charging ports. So basically you're, it's gonna be better for the ed, end of the wire. So it's not gonna be, you know, the, the wire won't break or anything. So it's gonna be better. Um, you see that on the Scuff Vantage controller. And I believe you see that on the, um, the Astro A40 controller. Um, <clears throat> so that's for that. Um, the R1 and uh, R2 buttons and L1 and L2 buttons, they have now changed. You can tell they are a little bit longer um, than before. They are longer, they are a little bit bigger. I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna have trigger stops. Um, I hope they do come in trigger stops and I hope maybe there's a version of this controller you could buy um, with the PS5 that has the um, back buttons on it. So, you know, the little paddles and stuff, I hope it does. And you can kind of see that the grip on the controller is different from this one. It kind of looks more like a rubberized grip, so it's gonna be way better and way easier to handle and um, especially um, if you have like slippery hands or whatever, especially on the back, it's gonna be better, it's gonna be better grip, so. Um, let's see, I'm gonna keep fast forward. I'm gonna get all the way to the back here. So, yeah, like I said, you could see that touchpad is extended up. And, you know, that's basically it. It looks like with this controller, um, there's, there's, that's basically really it. So, those are really the only changes. They didn't really change too much of the controller. I guess they wanted to keep it, um, basically how they had it originally. I guess they didn't want to change it too much, which I kind of like, um, if it ain't broke, they'll fix it. Everybody loved the DualShock 4, so I say don't bring a controller that's so completely different that people are gonna hate. So um, I'm just hoping there's different versions. I would like my I like my left stick to be on the top left instead of the middle, personally. I play better and I don't hit my thumbs. So that's just my personal opinion. I don't know for everybody else. But um, anyway, I'll just let me know what your boy B, man. You guys let me know what you guys think of this DualShock 5 prototype uh, fan art here. This is also, like I said, an image that's been leaked everywhere, so it's not necessarily fan art. This is um, basically an actual like rendered image um, of what it would look like from everywhere. You could see in the dev kit leaks that 
basically this is what the controller looks like so anyway y'all just been know which way be man you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think hit that like button hit that sub button definitely comment down below are you guys excited for the ps5 controller release and excited to see how the console actually looks as much as i am because i'm definitely excited anyway y'all just been know which way be man i'm out peace <laughs> I'ma hit it from the back, I'ma pull up on a nigga with a bitch, pussy wet up in the lake. Young corn got a nigga bitch clown to the sea in the back of the new car, no pay.